Hi, I'm Matt, design engineer at Q, and this is How Q. How to adjust your adjustable gas block. In this example, our gas block is gas for supersonics, and we want to run subsonics. I'm going to show you how to adjust that to get more gas into your system to be able to function your subsonic ammo. For tools, you're going to need a 332nd Allen key and a 564th Allen key, your honey badger tool, for your gas block jam nut, and a torque wrench. To start your gas block adjustment, you're going to take your 332nd Allen key and you're going to turn loose this frontmost screw that you can see, one, one revolution, just to break it free. One, good. Now I can get to my adjustment and I need my 564 Allen key. And it fits right through that first screw. And I'm actually, I know we want to open the gas, but I'm going to wind it close first to confirm my setting. I'm going to go one, two. I'm at two here. So now I know that I'm at two. I'm running, super, I'm running supersonic. I want to run subsonic. So we're going to try three. Three turns open. It's probably going to give me enough function to run my subsonic. So I'll walk it back out three. So one, two, three. Now I'm going to take my 332nd Allen key and I'm going to tighten down that first screw that I initially untorqued. You want your outer screw, your jam screw, to be tight. We're going to go to 12 inch pounds with this. I don't have a 12 inch pound limiter right now, but I'm going to use my Allen key and just get her tight. Now my gas block setting is at three. Now, I will say, you want to tighten this down every single time you're going to go and shoot. If you're not sure what setting you need to be in, you're like, I'm just gonna pop a few rounds to see if I lock back, see if I function, you should still tighten this down and then break it free. It takes two seconds, it costs none of your time, and you're not gonna lose this screw. Now we're gonna reinstall your gas block onto the barrel. And I should say, you don't have to take your gas block off to adjust the gas. I'm just doing this for ease of manipulation and showing you all the different features. We're gonna slide our gas block onto the barrel. There's an index pin here that aligns your gas block rotationally to your barrel gas port. And you need to stop your gas block on this barrel shoulder here after the journal. Slide that on. We have a set screw down here, and we're gonna tighten that finger tight. This is the 564th Allen key. Short side of the Allen key, not the long side. That's kind of how I go by it. Now what that's doing is that's pulling your contact surface with your barrel port down to contact. We take our gas block jam nut, slide it over the barrel, begin to thread, finger tight. I'm gonna put 35 inch pounds on it. Be mindful not to clip the front of your gas block or you might shear your pin. Now we have our assembled gas block and we're ready to test our subsonic round. If you don't function with your subsonic round, you can just readjust your gas block another half turn is what I like to do. I like to go in half turn increments. I know we did a full turn from two to three, but we know we needed it. So now if I don't function, I'll go from three to three and a half and then from three and a half to four and then wide open is four and a half. Anything after four and a half turns open, you're actually not getting any more adjustment you're already past your porthole, so you're not gaining anything by walking out anymore. We do not recommend you adjust your gas block more than four and a half turns open. That's how.